Hello guys, Dian here, welcome back to the channel. In today's very short video I will start uh, working on the Eugene side of the support packs for the Operation Kalstrom, uh, these Yao Zhao bots. I will do them very simple, so in the whole video I think I used uh, only uh, 9 or 10 paints maybe. So this will be a really simple and uh, very quick paint job. So sit back, relax and enjoy the video. I start with the priming the models with a red bone spray. Uh, if you don't have a red bone spray, any bone color spray uh, will do the job. Just try to get an even coat all around. And then I will use a black Templar contrast uh, paint. Uh, I will use it straight from the pot and I will apply it in one uh, very thick coat uh, around the, all the parts that I want to be uh, black. So that will be their feet, uh, their hands and uh, the spots that they have it under the armor like their uh, exoskeleton. Just in case, if you made uh, any mistakes, uh, you can use the red bone uh, color again and just go around the model and do the cleanup. Just clean all the stains that you made with the black uh, because we will uh, paint armor next one, so uh, we don't want uh, any stains to be visible after we apply the color. Uh, after everything is dried properly, uh, I will use a Griffhound orange contrast paint and I will paint uh, all of their uh, armors with it. Uh, I will just leave uh, uh, left uh, shoulder plate on both of them because they have it one uh, bot have it black and the other bot have it white where we will put the markings on it. So just take uh, the paint straight from the pot and apply it in one uh, very thick coat. And try to avoid going uh, multiple times over the same surface because the paint is drying very quickly so it will create uh, unnatural stains if you go all over it second time. After you done leave it uh, to dry properly uh, because we will start now with the highlighting. Uh, so I will start with the armor first. I will use a uh, real yellow and uh, I will uh, put this color on my wet palette and add a few drops of water to it so it flows better from my brush. And then I will start covering uh, the previous color of uh, the Griffhout orange. I will cover like 90% of that color and uh, I will leave uh, all the darkest recesses and all the areas that are hidden uh, with the previous color so we create a shade. Uh, just to note, uh, this color is very transparent so you will have to do two or three uh, very thin coats to have a nice coverage. So the end result should be something like this. So just aim to get a tone like uh, I get it here. And after that uh, we will use uh, Flash Gits Yellow and uh, just do the edge highlighting. So go around uh, every single sharp edge of the model and uh, just draw a nice thin lines. Just be patient and go slowly and uh, the model will really look nice uh, with this highlight. The second highlight uh, we have to do today uh, will be to highlight the black parts. So I will use the Administratum Grey and uh, 
the same as the, the previous color, I will put it on my wet palette, uh, add a few drops of water so it flows uh, better from my brush and I will just go around the model and uh, highlight every single sharp edge uh, that he have. So just draw a very thin line on uh, every single edge of the model. Uh, actually there is not that much uh, on this model so this should be pretty quick. Uh, for the shoulder plate of this medic bot, uh, we will use uh, Ultuan Grey and uh, just paint it uh, uh, with it. Uh, try to have a nice and even coverage. Uh, one or two very thin coats will do the job. And the final touch will be the markings. Uh, we will use the Evil Sun Scarlet and uh, just uh, draw the Medic Cross on the Medic One and on the Engineering Pot you have to draw a little cog. So just take your smallest brush, have patient and just draw it. Uh, if you make any mistakes you can use uh, Ultra and Grey and just uh, repair it. And actually the last thing uh, will be the lights and the eyes because I forgot to paint them. So I will use a Temple Guard Blue and uh, I will just uh, paint them in one very thin coat uh, all around. So he have the lights uh, on the hands and uh, on his eyes as well. And that's it, they are done. Uh, very simple uh, paint job. Uh, I will transfer them to the bases I made before. Uh, if you're interested how I made these bases, I will include the link uh, in the description. And uh, I just need to say these models are super small and it was quite difficult to paint them and record this. So I'm sorry if my camera went out of the focus a uh, few times. So guys, uh, that will be it for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, please uh, like and subscribe to the channel. It will mean a lot. And uh, see you in the next one when I will continue painting uh, uh, stuff from the operational custom. So take care and bye bye.